Morning guys, I've escaped the classroom again and this time I'm out to see Jack on site. It's his first visit for his domestic installer qualification, one that hopefully leads to him registering under the Part P Competent Person Scheme. And as it's his first visit, I'm just going to see something simple. I think he's replacing an outside light. The first visit is all about uh, risk assessments, method statements, safe isolation, working safely on a pair of steps, communicating with a customer. Hopefully also we will get to complete a minor works depending on the length of the visit. So we're off to see Jack on site and hopefully he's got some good evidence for that first visit for us today. Human, got to have a coffee before we get there. So uh, we're on our way Jack, we're just a few minutes later than we would have been. So turned up on site and what I expect to see is obviously the appropriate signage at this stage. So we've got a sign suggesting that somebody's at work, we've got a barrier in place which is all good. Come round, I've had a quick look already so I sort of know what's going on. I've got a ladder here working for a height, doing something with the outside light. It looks like we've got a conduit system, maybe introducing some PVC singles because that's part of the qualification as well. So they're all playing the game. Extension ladder there, which is obviously longer for accessing the old lighting position. And there's Jack playing the game with his full PPE. So he's gonna nip inside a minute. We'll have a look at the earthing arrangement as well. So let's have a look at the mains end. The supply authority only brings in line and neutral and we have a TT earthing arrangement. We're reasonably remote here in this installation. We have kilowatt hour meter, time clock. Inserted within the tails, we have a 100 milliamp RCD. Have a distribution board, which is obviously protected by the 100 milliamp RCD. Half the circuits this side have additional protection by a RCD rate at 30 milliamps, and that's for the socket outlet circuits. Jack's outside light comes via a fuse connection unit um, off the socket outlets, so we'll be looking at it in a minute. The earthing conductor comes out here and goes outside and goes to an earth electrode. And Jack will be upgrading the bonding while he's with me as well. Whether I get that on video today or not, I don't know, but I'll be coming back to see the upgraded bonding as well. Let's go and have a look at the fuse connection unit next. So this is the socket out there that the outside light is wired from, comes up in mini trunk in, and comes up to a fuse connection unit and you can see the actual fuse connection unit has been pulled and the fuse has been removed as well as well as isolation being performed actually within the consuming unit itself we come up in trunk in up in trunk in and then jack's got it coming outside in pvc conduit equally they've got to show me that they've got all the appropriate uh, paperwork so we've got sets of risk assessments down here uh, set of folders here with some more paperwork in. We've got a first aid kit, we've got an accident book, got the latest copy of the regulations currently at the 17th edition, pending the 18th at the moment. On site guide, uh, he's just been looking in there because the earthing arrangement here is a TT. He's confirmed the size of the earthing conductor and we're currently um, looking at the bonding. Once again, we can see Jack's playing the game by having the appropriate signage in this domestic dwelling to prevent access. It's a little overkill, but it does clear some of the outcomes required by the awarding body.
So we can see the original conduit here coming out from the installation. Jack has extended it, so he's cut back the PVC, PVC twin and CPC cable. He's put an inspection 90 degree on it and he's extended up in PVC singles now up to the new IP65 box and IP65 rated LED lamp. So we're in the process now of making the second fix connections before we complete the minor works. limited space here with Jack so we're going to now carry out off camera the insulation resistance test of the circuit that we've modified and as all loads have been left in we're going to link together the live conductors and test between live conductors to earth. This test was carried out also with JT on his on-site assessment and I'll put a link in the description above my head so you can go to that video if you want to see this test being carried out next. Jack's gone a bit shy on me but I'll talk you through what he's going to do next. What we're going to do is I've asked him to carry out a three lead low a uh, fault loop impedance test. Almost irrelevant from the point of view that we're on a TT system. So he's going to set it onto line and protective earth and he's going to set it up with all three leads in and we're going to do a three lead load test. I just want to see what the earth fault path is on the circuit. Then we're going to switch it down one. We're going to go back to two leads, we're going to change the leads over so we're using two leads and we're going to do a loop test between line and neutral. The earth fault will be cleared by the RCD and we'll prove an RCD test on it, but I still want to know what the impedance is to earth. So as that's going to be too high, we must prove between line and neutral and confirm that would disconnect the circuit and impedance is low enough according to BS7671. So let's just recap that we're on a TT supply. The earth faults will be cleared by the RCD, but I'm going to make him do an earth fault loop impedance test to see how high it is. We're then going to do a impedance test between line and neutral and confirm that that reading is low enough in order to disconnect the circuit under short circuit condition. So we'll check that impedance against BS7671. Let's see Jack maybe do the test if he doesn't get camera shy on the next part. Uh, just doing a three lead low test. With a reading of 49.9 ohms. So I've removed my middle lead, so it's just line and neutral, to do a two lead high test. With a reading of 0 0.36 ohms. So I'm testing the RCD on the circuit that we've been working on at 15 milliamps at zero degrees. So I'm testing and nothing's happened so now I'm going to swap it to 180 degrees and retest and nothing's happened. All right, so I'm going to test the RCD at its full rated value of 30 milliamps at a degree of zero. It should disconnect within 300 milliseconds and it has done it in 35.3. So I've just reset the RCD I'm going to swap it now to 180 degrees and redo the test and then I'll record the highest of the readings but that one was 26.1. So now we're at five times its value at zero degrees again and hope for less than 40 milliseconds. It's 15.8. So I've reset the RCD. I'm now going to test at 180 degrees and take the highest of the two readings. That was 6.79. Big thanks to Jack. If this is looking easy, this is take 46 of trying to do the exit to this video. <laughs> and Jack, we're getting a bit nipped off now. There. We're getting there. So we'd like to thank Jack. Uh, lots of pressure. First year of his domestic installer qualification. Not only is he doing a visit, but he's got me with my camera and then obviously the wide world chipping in with their opinion on what's going on. You've seen a sample of what's happened today. Jack's got some other bits to do when I've gone. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade the water and the oil bonding and fix an outside light. Yeah, and we found one or two accessories around the installation that also need repairing, so we're going to do that as well. So, video in, in summary is just to help my students see the expectations. We've got the paperwork that I expect to see when I get here, the risk assessments, method statements. Um, we've got data sheets for the glue in this case on the installation as well. We've installed a piece of PVC conduit, we've installed some PVC singles, and we've gone through the process of some of the tests on camera for a minor works. So what do you reckon? We hope this video has been, been some, some help. help. 
God, I think we've done it. 